Hello everyone and welcome back to the 173rd episode of the Top 5 Weekly. Now for those of you that are new here, this is series where I take a look at the most popular workshop creations on Steam, analyze each one of the creations, discover their features and test them out here in Stormworks. But before we get started, if you are enjoying my videos, don't forget that like and subscribe button and while watching, let me know your thoughts of the creations in the comments below. So that all said, let's get straight into it and get started with this week's episode. And starting this week's episode off with the first creation, we have the mobile radio station Liberator. Now the Liberator is an old camper that's been left in a barn collecting dust and rust. Now eventually found and modified into what it is now. This is a mobile communication station. It's got two RAM uh, radios. We've got rusted beetle equipment with a cannon, a machine gun, a tail gunner, and also a pilot tube. So it sounds really cool. Let's go and spawn it and see how it works. And spawning in the creation, man, this thing looks really cool. So it definitely has that same like wasteland theme to it, like the mech that we looked at a few weeks ago. So you can see here we have the actual van, and the van looks really cool just by itself. Uh, then at the top we've got the beetle that's kind of been like welded on top of it. Uh, we've got a big machine gun there. It looks like we've got a rear-mounted machine gun too. Oh, that's cool. This looks really nice. A lot, quite a bit of XML edited pieces here and there. But overall, I love the style of it. The van itself looks really good. Really nice. So it looks like we have got a little door to go in and out. So let's jump in here. Uh, let's go and close that door off. And we should have a light switch. There we go. So a little light switch inside here. Let's start the rear and make our way forwards. So we do have a tail gunner. Nice. Okay, so that is mouse controlled, as you guys can see. I can go up and down. I can also fire that. That is nice. I like how it alternates between the guns. That looks really cool. All right, let's jump out of there. Uh, looks like we have got a way to get out here, and then you would go back in. There might be a seat inside here. Let's have a quick look, and let's see. Close that door. Is there any seat here? Doesn't look like it, so I guess the intended way is to jump out and then come back. I mean, the creator could solve that by just putting maybe a little seat here. That way you can like move your way back. Uh, we do have a way to go up. Okay, so this is up to the beetle. Looks like we, oh wow, we've got a 105 mil cannon. We've also got a machine gun. Ooh, that's really cool. Oh, that's nice. I like how it's not firing consistently, just doing single shot. That's really nice. Uh, looks like we've got spare ammo here. We've also got a 105 mil cannon. So that's got, oh, let's get the light on. Up, down, left, right. Nice, okay. And we can open the breach. We can fire. We've got some rounds. Close the breach. Might be broken. Break shoots. All right. Um, <laughs> let's fire it. Oh, it fired on the second go. <laughs> That's cool. All right, let's get on. Uh, okay. So in the rear here, what else do we have? Looks like we got some machine guns, a bunch of equipment. Uh, we also got a bunch of radios and things. More radios inside here. Quite a bit. Wow. That's really cool. I love the hearts like angled. That's really nice. Doesn't just look like a big flat piece. That's really cool. Uh, let's go and actually check out the van. So we've got two seats up here. We've got disengaged parking brake, ignition, disable RPM limiter. All right, we've got a hood. I think it's broken. The hood is stuck. Okay. Oh, well. Uh, oh, also equipped a machine gun. Oh, sorry, pistol by accident. Uh, we've got cruise control, we've got lights in the front, so that's just a low beam, high beam, all right, cool. Uh, we can get our parking brake off. All right, okay, I mean, let's go forwards. I think we need to get gears. And there we go, and we're heading off. Oh, it's quite nice, actually. I don't know if it actually has suspension, it looks quite firm. As you guys can see how kind of, yeah. All right, let's change gears up. Ooh, this is a second gear, third gear, fourth, fifth. I don't want to get too fast. This thing's quick, wow. That is very quick. Wow. It's also hazard lights, apparently. This thing is really cool. As I said, I don't think it has suspension on it. You can see how it's kind of bouncing around. It's also quite tall and quite skinny. I'm very scared of flipping this thing. But this thing is really cool. 
Wow, this thing is so cool. Oh, I need to get gears down. That is so nice. Guys, definitely, definitely recommend you guys go check this out. It looks really, I mean, so much fun. And I think the creator has used a mod to get the ocean away and just have the floor of the ocean to use this on, if I'm correct. Uh, but really cool. Definitely recommend you guys go check it out. Let's go ahead and swim on to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the FV Orca. This is a fishing vessel uh, that is apparently meant to be a replica of the shark fishing vessel seen from Jaws. Top speed around 23 knots, fuel capacity 2,800 liters. Uh, there's a sink button, and it's also an accurate and internal detail. Uh, that's pretty much about it. It looks really cool, so let's go and spawn in and see how it works. And spawning in the creation, I'm in free cam just to give you a size of the creation. It's not large at all. It's really compact, really small, and looks absolutely beautiful. I think the creator's done a fantastic job, especially with the hull. Really quite impressed with that. Really beautiful. So let's have a look all around. So here in the front, looks like we just have the bow, nothing else in terms of de in terms of like functional stuff. Here at the rear, we've got some rope anchors. It looks like we've got a little seat here at the back. Uh, we also have a little bit of a mast. Nice looking mast there. Looks like a little door that goes inside. Looks like a fry bridge at the top. So let's go and have a look inside. So we're going to jump in the cabin. And in the cabin we go, we have a stove. We have ignition. We've got a four peak. We can open and go through. Uh, do we have any lights? We do. Okay, let's open those lights up. Uh, we don't want to do the ignition just yet. Uh, inside here we've got a harpoon gun, we've got a toilet inside there I think also. Any lights? No lights that I can see. There's a, oh, there we go. Yeah, there is a light switch. And a little toilet and then that's about it actually. Cool. Let's go and close the toilet. Uh, let's go up in here and we'll close that door. We can leave the light on. I don't think it's... Well, actually, I'll turn it off. I don't think it's going to make too much difference. Uh, there should be a button for us to close this guy. There we go. Nice. A little clock there. Ignition. Get that on. Heading hold. Reverse. Throttle. Nav lights. Spotlight. Dex lights. There's a little light going down. That's pretty cool. Uh, and that's pretty much about it. Throttle. That's full throttle now. Beautiful. Very quick, actually. Love how it's not keeping completely flat in the water it's bobbing around a little bit it's quite accurate which is really cool turning turning is nice not too sharp not too slow love how it's angling a little bit beautiful the creator's done a great job with the balancing of this one so all right so we can't control it from the fly bridge so let's go up there and let's have a look so a little ladder brings you up there We've got a couple seats here we also have a reverse We've got the fly bridge. You can turn. You can get your throttle down. And that is as simple as it gets and as beautiful as it gets. Credit's done a fantastic job. I think this looks absolutely beautiful. Really, really cool. I'd love to use use this maybe as like a starter boat sometime. Definitely recommend you guys to use it. It's got it's really cool. Sounds like a little modular engine also inside there somewhere. Oh, it also has the sync feature, doesn't it? Uh, how does that work? Usually I don't test the sync feature, but uh, today, let's find out how that guy works. So heading hold reversed, deck light throttles. I wonder where the sync button is. So there's the lights, don't see, oh, there it is there. Okay, let's get that on. So we should be syncing. We're gonna turn the ignition off just so we can see. And what has it done? Is that opened up some hatches somewhere? Possibly, yes it has. You can see it's opened up a hatch here at the back, which is now letting water in, and we are officially sinking. That was quite quick, actually, but I've got the door open. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, I, want, I wonder if it's got... If I was to turn that off and close the door, does it have anything to drain? I wonder. Possibly, possibly not. I don't think it's got any bilge pumps. I could be wrong. Don't think it does. No, it doesn't. Beautiful creation. Definitely recommend you guys go check it out. Let's go ahead. Let's move on to the next one for the episode.
And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the RAAF DHC4 Carabo. Now, the Carabo is meant to be a one to one replica of the original A4236 Royal Australian Air Force plane. Um, this one looks really cool from the workshop in terms of features a fully uh, retractable tri landing gear. We've got accurate cockpit flight controls, there's activating cargo ramp and doors, and a supercharged 16 cylinder modular engine. So let's go and spawn this in and see how it works. Spawning the creation in, nice looking plane. I like the look of this one. Definitely looks good. The wings are nice and angled. That looks really cool. Overall, not too large, not too small either. I think it's perfect size. Looks like we've got some spare parachutes here if we need them. Actually, quite a few of them. Wow, that's quite a few. All right, let's take a little walk around. So nothing much on the in exterior here. Looks like we've got our modular engines and radiators and things. Looks like a refueling, oh, sorry, recharging. Maybe refueling's on the other side. No, no refueling on that side. Where's the refueling? Under the wings? Possibly. No, I don't see any there. Anything in here for refueling? No, I see it. Much of the engine there. I wonder where refueling is. You guys know me, I like to always find the refueling because that's how you would usually do it or if you were going to play with it. It doesn't look, I mean, from first observations, it doesn't look like it does have refueling. I could be wrong unless there's like a hidden hatch somewhere that I haven't found. Okay, uh, let's go and get inside. So apparently there should be a handle, something to get in. Did I pull that? Oh, there we go, cabin door, perfect. So there probably is, you know what? There probably is refueling somewhere and it's just hidden and I can't see it. That would be the most like, hold on, there's a flight compartment. Okay, I guess that's inside. <laughs> I think there's also another door here, isn't there? Yes, there is. Anything else? There? Okay, let's get inside this. Let's see if we can find something. The refilling later on. Uh, all right, so we've got the doors on the other side. We've already checked those out. Um, we've got ramp door, cargo door, ramp door. Okay, so that's the ramp and then we've got the cargo door. Cool, all right. So you can actually fit some stuff inside here. Got a bunch of seats in here. Wow. Fire extinguisher. That's pretty much about it, actually, for the end of this. Looks really cool. Uh, all right, let's go and get these closed. Still didn't see any refueling. I might have missed it. Uh, let's go inside here. Ooh, this looks cool. Wow. Wow. Do we need to get all the breakers on? <laughs> there is a starting up procedure that you do need to follow for this. Um, So we are going to try and follow it. So apparently we need to get parking brake on, where is that guy? Is that landing gear? I need to get low lights. Parking brake is on. Okay, so that, that's on. Master battery on. That's the next thing we need to do. Battery master. Check all doors are closed. Yep, uh, anti-collision near. Anti-coal lights. Got those on. Uh, fuel pump left and right. Guessing it's the cutoff. Oh no, it's not. It is those guys. Engine ignition left and right. That's the generators, battery masters, radios on, engine starter. Oh, maybe we do need those on. Okay, so let's get those on. Or do we need some throttle? Ah, oh, we need those engine ignitions, that's why. There we go. Perfect. All right, so check fuel pressure, turn the generators on. Yeah, that looks good. Get the jennies on. Parking brake off. All right, I mean, that's pretty straightforward, actually. Just me not reading the, the description properly. Uh, all right, so again, parking brakes off. Cockpit lights, if we want them. Nice, I mean, pretty straightforward. Landing gear, that's nothing really else here. I mean, there's a frequency input. I don't think any of these actually work. Just looks, oh, okay, so there is no smoking. So those are just breakers. Enable heating system, temperature up. Okay, so yeah, it's not really much there. Okay, it doesn't look like we have any like um, autopilots and things like that. Pretty straightforward. 
So take off, throttle 95%, landing 55%. All right, we'll just get on the runway here. I don't think we need much in terms of our actual runway here to take off. We can also throttle up and down using up and down keys, which is quite useful. And we can also put the brakes on, which are space. I like it when the creators do think of you're actually going to use this to taxi. You're not just going to take off from a static start. Um, all right, so let's increase our throttle up. Full throttle, lift the nose up a bit. Wow, that was very quick actually. All right, let's get our landing gear up. Let's see how that folds away. Nice, very clean, like that. Uh, we can probably get our throttle down ever so slightly because it does sound like <laughs> those modular engines are getting quite upset. Uh, and yeah, I mean, wow, very straightforward. Flies really well. I mean, turn it a bit. The yaw, the yaw and also the pitch is quite sensitive, but I mean, it's okay. You get used to it, I guess, after a while. The roll is pretty good. You can see the pitch is quite sensitive, but it's all right. It does also seem like it wants to go up naturally. So, I mean, you can trim that off. Oh, it is trimmed by default. Oh, interesting. So you saw that as I went in, it was already on like 2.4 or something. That's quite interesting. Yeah, it was on 2.4, which is what I got it on right now. Um, troop jump lights. Okay, so it's the lights at the back, I'm guessing. Yeah, it is. Cool. Um, now... I mean, I don't think the original has like autopilot and alt hold. It might do. I would possibly like to see that in the future. Maybe add it as an additional feature. But overall, really cool. I think the creator's done a fantastic job. It's getting quite hot, actually. Um, I think the creator has done a really good job with this. Very clean, very simple. I like it. Very cool. Definitely go recommend. Go check it out. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the Up House. Um, yeah, this apparently is the house from the movie Up, aka Carl's house. Uh, it's a floating house, uses balloons. Very interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not much else to talk about it. Let's go and spawn in and see how it works and what it is, actually. And spawning in the creation, I mean, wow. This is... Oh, wow. So there's balloons inside there. Uh, we've got actual house here. I'm just going to go and free cam just give you the size of this. This is incredible. This looks really, really cool. Wow, well, okay. Let's start at the front. Let's work our way around. Let's see what we've got. So we're going to go through the front door, which I'm guessing is the front door here, and just push it. It's a little bit choppy. Uh, looks like we do have some parachutes and things. If we come around this side, looks like we got light, electricity, circuit breaker if we want it. Looks like we've got an electrical cable attached to something. Yes, electrical cable over there. So we'll have to maybe disconnect that later. Uh, we've got a door here at the rear. Nothing around the side. And the front door. So let's go in the front door. Got a little doorbell. We go inside. Ooh, this looks cool. So we've got a porch light. We also have hallway lights. Uh, so in through here. A little like kitchen. Nice. All right. Uh, through here, it looks like we've got a living room with some equipment things. Looks like a seat to steer, throttle for altitude. Okay. We got ooh, a stair lift. That's really cool. A little bit slow, but really cool. Uh, upstairs here, we've got another little room with some lights if we want it. Uh, we've got another little room going through here bathroom, bedroom. And then actually a little window in here. That's pretty cool. Uh, I think that's the electrical cable. And then we also got a attic. Correct. Yes, a little attic in here with some more equipment and things. All right, cool. So much detail in here. So nice. All right, so we're going to try and get this lifted up. Uh, there are some instructions for you guys to use. Uh, I think we need to get the electrical cable disconnected. Uh, disconnect that. Uh, this guy. 
So to say, just remove the electrical connection to the left side of the house and use the altitude. Okay, so we disconnected the electrical. Uh, we can then go inside and we can use this as altitude to go up. Let's sit down, let's see. Oh wow, look, it's going. Okay, I think we need to give it a little more. Oh, that's up. Let's do 60. <laughs> and there we go, wow. Okay, we are going down. Uh, let's go up. Oh. Up, 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 up. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So the wind will actually move it and then you can, I think, use the steering to steer it. I don't know if that will actually steer it or not. But, oh yeah, you, mm, right, the crater, oh yeah, you can see, there we go. So we have the rudders. So it's just going to rotate it in theory because of the wind. But this is really cool. I mean, I love the detailing. The crater puts so much detailing into this house. It's really, oh, look at, like, even look underneath here. Like, that's really cool. And if we, oh, wow. <laughs> I do want to go back down to the ground, though. Um... So you can see the detailing even underneath. That is cool. The creator's done such a good job with this. So nice. Definitely recommend you guys go play around with this one. This is a fun one. Let's go ahead and move to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the last creation of the episode, we have the US Iowa 1 to 1 scale battleship. As this is name, this is meant to be a 1 to 1. Apparently it's very large and has a lot of interior. So this thing is going to chug. Uh, so apparently it's one to one, uh, fully modeled engine, boiler rooms, there's a superstructure interior, there's crew mess halls, there's barracks, captain suites, and many other inher interior hallways to explore. Relative top speed around 33 knots, uh, functional guns. There's also seaplanes that are functional. There's a GPS gun tracking system, working anchors. Wow. I mean, there's a lot of cool things here. Let's go and spot it and let's see how it works. Alright, so I'm in free cam, just give you a size of the creation. This is me, and this is the creation, it's absolutely massive. I have got physics quality turned down to super low, uh, to make sure I can actually run this so you can see it's it's okay, it's actually handling it pretty well. Uh, I mean, guys, I'm not going to be able to check out everything in this time, but this thing, I'm going to look at the most of it, but this thing looks absolutely epic. So cool, you can see the size of these guns. Man, that looks so cool. So, so much detailing. I don't need... So these are the planes. Apparently these do work. Oh, okay, I mean, I have to try this out, don't I? Uh, Alright, so rotation. So we're going to rotate it out. Hopefully not into... Let's do that much. Uh, winch plane left and right. Unlock launch cart. Winch plane left and right. So what does that do? So you should be able to, surely you must be able to rotate this, no? Uh, oh, winch plane right. Is that bringing it this way? No, it isn't. Unlock launch cards. So is that meant to bring it towards the rear, possibly? Can I get inside though? Uh, so apparently these are fully functional. Use them, angle deck launch outwards, move the plane backwards, no clip to get in the cockpit. So how do you move it backwards? So I'm, I presume they're thinking that you are... Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. So you unlock it and then you put it back. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Perfect. The planes themselves are really cool. Look really nice. Cool. Let's get that uh, done. Let's go in here. So no clip. The crates did say you need to use no clip. Uh, we're going to jump in here. Should be pretty straightforward. Uh, magnetos, starter, roll dampener, pitch level, roll up. All right. And one is deck launch. So we're currently connected. So if we press one, we should disconnect. <laughs> oh, wow. 
Okay, we went straight into the ocean. <laughs> That's my bad. Oh man, that was pretty cool. It's just a little bit chuggy. I probably, if I get away from this, it'll probably work much better. Uh, all right, we need to get into the interior. Uh, let's go up here to start with. There we go. And we need to make a way. Oh, even the light looks really cool. All right, so much actually. Oh, that's pretty cool actually. Uh, you can feel it's chugging a bit here. All right, so we have got the bridge and then I think there should be like a lower bridge if I'm correct. So you can kind of see inside the hull here. All right, let's go to the bridge. Let's see what's going on in here. So we've got padded seats, we've got starboard anchors, we've got coning tower, we've got helm, red lights, white lights, uh, we've got doors we can lock, we've got a little hatch there, oh, that's quite a lot, we've got a little microphone system, we've got lights if we want them. Okay, let's get this thing moving. So WNS for throttle, it's got a jet engine on it, by the way. Whoa. That's some decent speed. Wow. Okay, so we are moving now. I would like to find the other rooms. So, what's in here? Pilot's house. Okay. I'm going to get so lost in this creation. That's locked. Pilot house. That's where we're right now, weren't we? Uh, what's through here? Yeah, I'm going to get so lost. Looks like some hatches and things. I want to check out the engine room because apparently it is fully detailed. Uh, but I just need to find it though. Okay, so here's like a barracks inside here. I'm doing this guys just to, so we don't have to spend the whole time getting lost. Uh, looks like this is our firing equipment. Where is the engine room, may I ask? Ooh, I think this is the engine room. Let's just drop in here. Oh, this looks so cool. All right, I'm going to try and get unclipped. Look at this. This looks really cool. What's through here? Okay, that's just the void. That is cool. Look at the size of these engines. Wow. That looks cool. Got some lights in here for the boilers. And then I'm guessing... Okay, where do we go? As I said, this is why this is why I didn't um, just walk around. There's also a little home in here, I'm guessing for staring and stuff. Uh, all right, so how, next question I wanna answer is how do you find the guns? Apparently, let's find out. So, So apparently there's a lower deck where you can control the... Oh, is it in here? No. Apparently there's a lower deck where you can control the guns and things. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find them today, guys. Um, so where is the lower deck you can fire the guns from? Okay, I don't know if I can fire it, but apparently you can also fire them from inside. Oh, look at that. Okay, if I don't get no clipped into infinity. Um, that looks really cool. So if I can just get unclipped here. There we go. That looks so nice. Look at the detailing in here. Wow. Spot on to the creator on this one. This looks so cool. Wow. Number two gun. Oh, this is nice. Hatches and things. That looks so cool. Love the detailing in here. You got a turret entrance and exit you can get out of. Now, how do you actually control this thing? Oh, maybe from the back here. There we go. Oh man, look at that. So unlock the turrets. Activate radar system if you want it. Auto loading system, sure. Arm the gun. Yeah, let's arm those guys. Unlock it. Arm the weapon systems. Oh, that's so cool. And then you use W and S. A and D. Oh man, that's nice. 
Let's get this elevation angle. Angle it. That is really cool. Alright, let's go and fire this thing. So space to fire. Oh man. Look at the distance on those. This is really cool. Alright, I do want to go back into the wheelhouse. I'm gonna to have to try and do it while doing this. This thing is actually going really quick for its size. Quite surprised actually. Uh, let's go in here. Yes, cutting tower. Uh, I want to see how well this thing actually turns. Oh, we have sharks. Is that a shark or a megalodon? This is a shark. I can't really tell. I think that's the megalodon. It's no match for us. Can't even keep up with us. We are much bigger. It's actually turning really well. Guys, this creation is epic. Definitely recommend you go check it hard. The other thing's getting closer to us, isn't it? You can see it just there. It's not even touching. Yeah. Uh, it's pushing us along, actually. Guys, definitely recommend you go check this out. This is an absolute epic creation. Um, so much time must have gone into this. I, I can't even imagine. Uh, definitely recommend you go and check it out. Um, as always, guys, I do leave the, the links of the creations in the video description. So please go check them out. Go give some love up to the creators. Tons of time, efforts, and love have gone into creating these for you guys to enjoy in Stormworks. As always, guys, also, if you have enjoyed my episode, uh, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you don't want to miss any of my future content, make sure you do click the little bell icon to be notified as soon as my video gets uploaded. And until next week, we will see you then.